one and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and we are going to have a good time together. Today we are going to talk again about Muhammad if he is a prophet or not. Later we will open our Skype so people they can call us, especially Muslims and only Muslims because Muslims only the one who can answer us. Nobody can answer you except Muslims. As an example, here we have Abdul. Uh, <clears throat> he cut his hair last week because he was going to meet uh, Borat uh, Rahman and uh, his hair will grow soon you know because he is eating uh, the black seed so he you know his prophet always as usual he make a lot of poopoo and his poopoo is so big to defend but the poor Abdul he have defended I mean he have to defend the poopoo because simply this is a product he sell in the beginning of every video if you watch his videos you will see him posting something in front of your face saying buy this one don't forget to buy this one uh, what is that tell us what is that Mimi a contention which some people anti-islamic apologists have used <laughs> and even it's in, on some of their websites about a hadith uh, which talks about the black seed and if you wanted to translate it literalistically it would read that it's a cure for every disease uh, hold on, hold on. If you want to try, if you want to translate it, read it, 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 what, what, what is that? Are you saying this is not what it is? <laughs> I mean, the defense is so silly and so stupid. If you want to translate it, if you want, is it, is it, is it a choice to translate how it is, or we have to translate as it is? Mm. <clears throat> tell us more. Tell us more. But is this the case? How could it be the case? I mean, is it a cure for cancer, for AIDS, for all of those things? Uh, uh, Mimi, is it a call for uh, breastfeeding for adults? <laughs> like, I know a person, you know, when he speaks to Muslim women, <clears throat> uh, he say to them, suckle me. Do you think if he take that medicine, which your prophet said to take, is going to cure his situation and by the way i'm not talking about myself because you might think this is maybe me because i am the one who said to a muslim woman suck on me <laughs> no i'm talking about you is that will solve the problem because if this medicine can solve every problem i mean why we need to do suckling for a wife of a different person was it a kind of a medicine like i go and suck the boobs of someone else wife i think it was a medicine because the prophet no way he would teach us something not right think about it you are a man and you are a foreigner and you want to enter the house of a neighbor and his name is Mimi or Muhammad or Mahmoud and you are a stranger you are not allowed to be there so what we say you say to him you look at the door okay can I suck your wife tit to make her haram <laughs> now we go back to the medicine of a prophet Muhammad <laughs> tell us more about this medicine man do we not need hospitals anymore? No way. Okay, cancer research needs to shut down because now we have the black seed. No, the hadith does not mean. Uh, it does not mean. The hadith does not mean. Let us see what the hadith say in potato, guys. The hadith does not mean. What the heck? So why it's saying that it is a medicine for every, 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 every single disease. The hadith does not mean, so why your prophet, he says, the remedy for every disease except death. I mean, how clear he can make it, he just make an exception, death is not there. Do you see the stupidity of those people trying to defend their stupid prophet? Brother and sister. The hadith does not mean that. It says, Negla seed is remedy for every disease except death. And the potato trying to defend his prophet, because, by the way, he's not defending his prophet, he's defending his product because this is what he is selling for the poor, the poor Muslims. Every video he goes, he says, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this, brother, sister, buy this, buy this, if you want to be healthy, buy this, brother, sister, brother, yeah. Do you see how much corrupt those people are they are willing to lie about something is so clear like the sun a remedy for every disease not some disease does it say the word some like you can't your prophet use the word some i will give your prophet some some idea as an example he can say this is a, this is a remedy for some 
uh, disease. He can say this is a remedy for three some disease. He can say this is a remedy for four some disease. But you're a prophet, he chose to say, for every disease except death. And here we ask ourselves, is even death and a disease, you stupid idiot Muhammad? Because how you say except death when you are talking about disease? Is, is, the, is, is death is a disease? Not only this man Muhammad don't know how to speak Arabic, he, you know, he cannot put a sentence together. And now the Muhammadan, with short hair, long hair, doesn't matter. They are trying to explain why Muhammad is stupid. They say, brothers and sisters, Good friends. First of all, my name is Dr. Zakir Naik, and I'm going to get you both it. Uh, Zakir Naik, don't hold how, how in the world you spoke to me right away. I did not even call you. Good friends. I can contact you with our calling. What is that, man? How you can do that? Is that like you are using that sort of app, like app like Viber, you know, WhatsApp, like you know, Christian Prince, we Muslims, we have connection directly with Allah. Yeah, you know, what directly with Allah? Your prophet, he was praying to Allah 24 hours and then he died by like a rat by poison. And by the way, how come this seed did not work with him? Christian Prince, first of all, the prophet he did not die by poison. Like, what are you about talking about? He died by poison. Christian Prince, you are a liar, and I'm going to get with it. According to the prophet, he died because he had a pain in his testicle. You have pain where? In his testicle. What the heck? Yes, because he have a fight. If you remember the Quran, if you go chapter 13, it says that his wife, they were having a fight with him. What? What? His wife's having a fight with him? What does this have to do with his death? Exactly. And when you have a fight with your wife, they will hit you. They hit you. Where they hit you? In your testicle. Ah. So the wives of Muhammad, they hit him in his testicles and he ended dead. Not exactly. It took him four years. Man, what kind of hit? Work for four years. So they hit him four years ago and die four years after because they hit him in his testicles? Christian Prince, you are an ignorant. I have a story, a real story, about a person he's a Muslim. He was hit by four wives. The Prophet, he has 13 wives. The person, he died after two years because the only for the wife, the four wives, they beat him. The prophet, he had 13 wives, and all of them, they hit him in the tickle. The 13 wives, all of them, they hit the prophet in his testicles? Lord have mercy. I feel sorry for... Uh, thank you, Christian Prince, for feeling sorry for my prophet. I'm not feeling sorry for him. I'm feeling sorry for his testicles. I mean, this is ouch. This is too much testicles hit. Anyway, listen, listen. The hadith says, the hadith says, not me, that you're a prophet, he died because of poison. So are you saying your prophet, he covered up his testicle story, which you just made up, and he made other story, which is not true? Christian Prince, respect yourself. My prophet never lied. So here we go. He says, the prophet, he said, the Aisha, she said, that when the prophet in his element of which he died, he used to say, oh, Aisha, I still have feel the pain caused by the food. I don't see the word fail by the testicles. Do you see the testicles there in the hadith? Christian Prince, first of all, I believe that hadith is corrupted. Some of the Jews, they took the word testicle and they put the word food because they want to claim victory over Prophet Muhammad because they are the ones supposedly who gave him the poison. Ah, we have to blame the Jews. So here the true word is the pain I caused by the testicles, not by the food. Exactly. Zach and Nick, thank you. Man, you changed history. So what we would do now, Zach and Nick, should we call the Hadith Organization, Islamic Ministry of Defense of Islam, and change those? How, why, why you must have done corrected? First of all, we cannot put the name of the testicle of the Prophet in that hadith because his testicle is holy. What the heck? His testicle is holy? Exactly. I heard the hadith about Muslim fighting over the water of his panty, his laundry. Christian Prince, this is very good hadith. And actually, me myself, I wish I can get that water because that can heal me. I mean, that's the, the water of Muhammad panty can heal you. Okay, so now we go back to Mimi Hijab. So Mimi Hijab is saying to us, brother and sister, the hadith does not say so. <laughs> Who wants some coffee? <laughs> Who 
Why the stupid cut? <laughs> if you have a problem, what is your disease? What is your situation? What is your illness? Are you infected by cucurona? Cucurona macarona? Take the negla seed. Have cancer? Take the negla seed. You can't have babies. Take the negla seed. You have a mental illness. Take the negla seed. You have a problem with, uh, you know, functioning, your hands are shaking, your heart is not working. Take the negla seed. I don't know. I feel like I have to, I need to eat, I need to add this to the commercial break of Christian Prince. May Allah bless him. Commercial break. Hello, babies. If you would like to support Christian Prince, please go to Patreon and show your support www.patreon.com slash christian prince we thank you all for your kindly support and enjoy the video the end of commercial break so brother when Mimi hijab he said to us, the hadith does not mean that. I mean, how be me hijab he got this conclusion when the hadith says every single disease. And the Prophet, and by the way, uh, uh, the name of the chapter, Healing Sickness with the Black Seed. <laughs> <laughs> Abu Huraira, the father of the cats, reported that uh, he heard Allah Messenger saying, Nigla seed is the remedy for every disease. Brother, sisters, when the Prophet he say every, he don't mean it. From now on, take it for granted. This guy is a stupid. He add the word every in, in front of everything. And now we have the Muslims, they need to correct their prophet because their prophet didn't speak good Arabic. I mean, he said every, but he don't mean every. He said except death, but he don't mean except death. Like what the heck? I heard Allah Messenger saying, the healing in black coming for all diseases except death. But Mimi Hijab, he says he did not mean that. He did not. You know, there is something you need to learn about Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad is a different person who speaks his own language. Actually, he is the one who created the Arabic language. Before him, we don't speak Arabic. Before him, we used to speak gibberish. Like me, myself, I told you that my grand, 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 grandfather, he used to speak like this language. I don't know which one you tend to me. I mean, it's hard to figure out, by the way. Yeah, so this is a true story, by the way. And the prophet is the one who corrected the language for us. So since the prophet, he is the best in the languages, the prophet he liked to add all, but he don't mean all. When you see Muhammad say all, he means some. Let us type it there. The prophet he say all, he means some. <laughs> oh boy, I'm typing in Arabic again. The prophet he say all, he means some. What? Is that brother Tita? This is because the prophet he wanna fool the enemy. Other example, the enemy they will see the hadith and then they will say all. So they will take it for all the deeds and then the enemy all of them die. It was a perfect trick from the prophet to kill all the enemy. Ah, so the prophet he says all oh, this is not for the Muslims. Exactly. It was only for the Christian. So they can't believe it and they eat it for all they did it and then they die. <laughs> I mean that's so deep. And <clears throat> what we would do with except death? 
I mean, the guy, he make it so clear that he even had death at the end. And all of us, we know that death is not a disease. I mean, who is the stupid, this man, his name is Muhammad, is to consider that death is a disease. Since when? When the last time it happened that any dictionary in the world considered death a disease? So like, you know, when I die, I have a disease now, I'm dead, I'm dead and I have disease. I mean, the guy is dead. Can we heal the person from disease? It's called death. So this is how we clear the verses of Muhammad, yet the Muslim, they try to do a cover up for the stupidity of this person. I'm going to open my Skype in case there's a Muslim he can explain to us what's going on all right I will try not to stay for long today but maybe we can take a call we are loading in Skype okay if you are a muslim you like to join us give me a text please and i will call you immediately all right only if you are a muslim don't text me if you are a christian anyone you can tell that this person muhammad is a mentally ill and he heard people saying, this is something, you know, this is the black seed, uh, you know, the Middle Eastern they use for centuries, you know, and they believe it's a benefit. I believe all kinds of seed have benefit. There's not a single seed. God, he created, you know, all those things for a reason, right? So any kind of seed have a, have a benefit. There's no way, even coffee have, have a benefit, even tea have a benefit. Uh, I mean, there's no plant in this earth, maybe, Either you die or, you know, have poison. Even poison have a benefit. So when this mental person, Muhammad, he adopt a tradition of the Arab, which has exists before him, believing that the black seed have, can solve out the problem. But he, as usual, this person, he exaggerate with his stupidity. All right, we have Mr. Huzaifa. Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend, we are live on air. What do you like to say to us? So uh, the topic that you are discussing today, uh, what would you like to say about that? Well, I don't, I don't know. Aren't you watching us live on YouTube? We are live on YouTube. We are talking about your yeah, prophet I... hadith. So you saw the hadith, yeah, right? you are you are live on air. So uh, you are not understanding the hadith. You are okay, interpreting strong. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so in the hadith, it is said that uh, uh, this dead seed, the black coming, is the uh, heals every disease hmm. except death. Okay. It means that uh, it means that if if there is death in the fate of a person, then it cannot be cured by any any remedy or any. Uh, anything you know so you have to uh, you have to be sure that uh, it is not the death that is coming to you if it is the death that is coming to you then it cannot be cured you know uh, because let, let us consider one a person is having a heart attack hmm. and it is in his face it is in his fate hmm. that he will die today hmm. so nothing can cure him nothing can get uh, can get him rid of his death mm. death is for sure and it will come to everyone mm. but my this friend means, my friend why you are adding words is not there are you saying your prophet you speak with arabic did yeah, your prophet, I, I am explaining when, no, 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 when you someone see, is, no you are explaining you're explaining what something is not there because your prophet he made it so clear he says that black common or black seed is healing for all diseases let us fake a focus on the f first part does the seed really heal all diseases or this is an exaggeration and a lie? 
Yeah, maybe it uh, it cures all diseases. You maybe. don't know. So why you Muslims you go to the doctor? Why you don't just go and buy those seeds and that's it? If you have a cancer, buy those seed, you will be fine. If you have AIDS, buy those seed and you have you will be fine. If you have headache, buy those seed and you will be fine. I mean, why you go to doctors? Why Muslims are desperate to buy the the, the coronavirus vaccine from around, from from countries they are kuffar? Well, just take the the black seed and that's it. <coughs> Uh, because uh, not all the Muslims know about all the hadiths. My friend, I'm talking uh, about Muslims. Uh, I'm talking prophets. about Muslims. Is Pakistan is a Muslim country? Government is a Muslim country. Is Saudi Arabia government Muslim country? Is even Muslim government? Country? So uh, we are talking about Muslims. Why you Muslims? You have a solution for every disease. Why we have a very high average of death in Egypt because of those diseases? Actually, you know, they have a they have a liver disease, very well known in in Egypt. You know, hundreds of thousand people die every year. So why we don't just take this seed and that's it? If there is a proof of what Muhammad saying, or this is just a fiction. Yeah. Hello. Let your friend talk to you. Let let your friend join you. Is that your wife telling you what to say? So you can hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I hear your lips. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hmm. So, uh, so I was saying that uh, uh, actually, uh, not every Muslim knows all the hadith of Prophet. So it is. Uh, uh, so it is not, not for sure Muslim that the Muslim knows. Not every Muslim knows. I mean, it is just in YouTube, not in not on, in Facebook. It is there for fourteen hundred years. Muslim they speak about it in TV stations, satellite, and no, but every Muslim knows. Yeah, so uh, not every Muslim okay, uh, let me ask uh, you. takes let, the knowledge let of me, Islam. Okay, let me ask you. If you have a teeth problem, can you solve it with this uh, teeth infection? You have teeth infection. Can we stop the infection of our teeth by taking those seeds? Uh, uh, the infection is not the disease. Infection is something infection, else. Infection disease is, is that disease. is... No, infection is a disease because simply, you see, I read in the old Arabic, it says that, that. That means simply you are suffering from something not part of your body. So bacteria is a is a disease. Viruses is a disease. You know they spread diseases and they are diseases. They are cause they cause illness, which means anything cause illness. So when you have infection, this is illness. This is not the natural status of the of the body. If I have an infection in my skin, you know obviously I have an illness. I have a, a, a damage in my skin, and maybe it can cause. Uh, cutting the arm, cutting the hand, or even your, or your death. You know, somebody have infection in his toes. It might cause even all his body to be to, to die. So this is a this is an illness. Infection. So like this, you will also uh, like this. You will also say that if we scratch our skin by falling on the ground, then we will uh, then that will My be friend, a disease. If it is not a disease. Scratching yourself and falling on the ground that's not a problem. The problem is the bacteria will go in your wound. And that will cause infection. So don't mix things together. You know, Muslims always mix things be between hummus and watermelon. So I can now do a cut to my to my skin. Well, like let's say I'm I'm uh, doing some meat work, and then I cut my finger. That's not the problem. That is not a disease. But then a disease can transmit into my blood, and that cause my death. The bacteria can go in yeah, yeah. and can take over my body, and my body die. So. When you're a prophet, yeah, he says, uh, when the bacteria, when the bacteria are uh, about to take over your body, you uh, and you eat the black. I mean, it will, uh, it will, it will help you but because this, no, uh, this, this you doesn't know, say things. it will help you. You see, don't make things up. It says that it's a cure, the healing. So it should have 100% guaranteed result. So if we go to Islamic hospital in Islamabad. We should not have a, a shelf full of medicine. We should have one medicine for all diseases. Do we agree? The black seed. See, uh, Somebody see, have a problem. Uh, he you... have infection with his liver. We give him black seed. Somebody have a problem with his heart. We give him black seed. We somebody have a, a problem with AIDS. We give him black seed. Somebody any any, any disease. Any disease. We should have one, one ball on the shelf of every Islamic pharmacy. No other. Because it says it clearly for all diseases.
Let the women talk. Maybe they yes, have better sir. answer than yours because Muslim women are smarter than Muslim men. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, see, uh, these are not meant for the diseases. Uh, di uh, for all diseases, black women can uh, black women can cure every disease. Uh, so, if you will try that remedy, then only then you can know. You cannot know by okay. just seeing. Okay, my friend, you are saying yourself. it is not for all. So why your prophet says all? You see, in Arabic and no. English, it's so clear. It says kulli kulli da kul. Kul is every, every, every. Mm. So in English too, this is your Muslim translation says all diseases. So why he is saying all diseases if it's not for all diseases? <coughs> and you know what? There's not a single disease this this uh, this uh, black seed can solve. That's a lie. Not a single one. It is Those for seed, all no, diseases. No, no, it is for all diseases exactly. So if somebody have AIDS, we give him this seed, he will be fine. No, uh, not th those types of uh, It says uh, diseases. all you know, diseases. diseases. Okay, name for me one disease the seed can heal. If somebody have it cholera, is... if somebody have cholera, if somebody no. have diarrhea, <laughs> diarrhea is not even a disease. I mean, diarrhea, it's, a, it's a yes. like, an, you know, maybe bacteria is in the food. Okay, they, they will not cause your death unless it is severe, like what happened to, uh, uh, what is name, the one who came to be the Messiah, you know, in, uh, uh, in Pakistan. Uh, what's his name? Ahmad Mirza Ghulam. He died because of his shit. Excuse my language. You know, diarrhea. He have a cholera. So he keep boop, 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 And then, you know, he died. And he fell down in the poo, -poo According to the, to, to, to the Ahmadiyya. So can this, be, can this seed really be a solution for any health issue? The answer, no. Okay, Christian Prince, you know, you have not tried it and you cannot see it. Just the, by, uh, my just my by friend, it. my friend, this is this is part of our food. What are you what you are talking about? You don't try it? My mom, she added to the food. This is a food. This is a this is the, the this seed is not coming from the moon. It is coming from our land. So it, we grow it, we grow it. Does it. Not we grow mean it, that we eat it. it. We it grow it, we eat it, and people die. Still people die, still people get sick. Still my mom got sick. So we eat it, we put it in food, we put it even, uh, some of them, they add it in the drink. So this is a lie, we did not try it. We are the one who gave it to you, maybe. I don't know what is what origin of it. Maybe it's coming from India, I have no idea. But to say we did not try it, we have it, try it. Promise me that you will not go to a medicine pharmacy and you will buy from Mimi Hijab the seed he sell in his videos and you will be fine, brother. See, you have to take all the precautions that you can to cure a disease. So this is also one Why of the you precautions. Why you want to take the precaution? Well, hold on. Don't you trust your prophet words? Isn't it Allah who told him this? Yeah, you have to uh, you have to eat it continuously, not only when disease comes. Okay, eat it continuously, you have to guys. Eat it continuously. Okay, guys, look look how the Muslim poor Muslim try to defend. Did your prophet says you have to eat it continuously? What are you, it says there is a healing in the black caiman for all diseases, which means you take it when you are sick. However. You Muslims eat it every day. Who care? Let us see if you Muslims will have zero disease in your land. Uh, is there is never zero. There is never zero disease in the land because diseases come in human life. It is the part of human life. My uh, friend, what are okay, you talking? But that's mean. That's mean. No human should die, and he is taking those seeds. Correct? No, no. All the human will die because uh, not nothing can the, cure yeah, that. You know, no. don't, don't be a kid. I'm talking to a man. No human will die. I'm not saying he, nobody will die. I'm saying from diseases, no, natural death. Okay, so natural death can happen, no problem. That can happen to everybody. Actually, I died yesterday. I woke up because I sneeze. According to your prophet, when you sneeze, you die. <laughs> I sneeze every day, which means I die every day, and then I get resurrected again. So... Here we see that Muhammad, he make no exception except death. And this is stupid to say because death is not a disease. Secondly, all diseases and none of them yet can be solved or fought by this black seed. It's a lie. Uh, it is not a lie because uh, there is a condition that except death. If the if death is to be occurred by the by the disease that you are having, then it cannot be cured. You know, if uh, you have cholera, if you have diarrhea, and you are to die by that disease, then it means nothing can cure it. Not even the black. I mean, not even doctor. Not nothing can cure it. So that is why 
it doesn't it doesn't mean that blasphemy is the so what okay uh, so it doesn't mean so it doesn't mean but your prophet says all is he is he an idiot is he like uh, he don't speak with arabic why he said all he can say some you know because because, because it's a healthy because it's a healthy thing it uh, it immunes our uh, it uh, boosts our immunity so we should eat it and it and might be again, the protection i don't understand say again I, I, sorry i don't understand your accent your wife she is talking whispering like jibril and you are telling me what she say. Why you don't tell her talk? Okay, so I'm saying that. Why your prophet says all? Why your prophet says all if it is some? If it is some, there's no some. That's a lie. There's no proof of those some. And it, when he say all, did he make a mistake? You think uh, when there is uh, a certain thing that is uh, beneficial for your health and it cures your voice became low, my friend. Your voice became the low. Disease. Get close to the microphone again. When, so, when certain what? Okay, I'm uh, Is the voice clear now? Yeah, it is. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm saying that uh, if there is something in the land that can benefit you and uh, it can help you cure against the diseases. Uh, let it be all the diseases or some diseases. So you should eat there. So this is what is meant by friend, the you are making me dizzy. What some dollars? Some dollars? Some dollars? Some dollars? I'm asking you. Did your prophet say all, or he said some? Yeah, all. Okay. So all mean all. So why you are adding some or diseases? Yeah. Some diseases? Some? 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 You know, there's no some. So uh, don't don't fabricate your prophet words. Shame on you, man. You Muslim, you say we protect our religion. And then the second we read something for you, you add like the sun set in murky water. They say the sun appear to the Quran to be aware of that in the Quran. They say we have to add it. So the Muslims, in order to cover up, they change the words. In the top of that, they even change the meaning of the word and they take the word sometimes. Like what you are doing now, you are taking the word all, you put the word some. No, I, I, I never... Uh did that you did uh, there is the word all for uh, all in the hadith yeah. so it is all okay so why you keep yeah. saying some so, so why it you keep saying some it, to me where do the word some no i'm from? just explaining to you i'm just explaining to you when why you, explain you are using to someone, the word some in the explanation if it does not say some why you are using the word some in the explanation like i say to you take right take left to, you know to go to the direction so why you are using the word some when we are talking go right go left go up stop here why you put the word some there's no some all so when he say all diseases except death that means this is how good it is this is how good it is okay. it's 100 percent 100 percent healing process okay see christian uh, uh this is not the matter of uh, it is the healing 100 uh, percent healing see it is uh, a matter that is much more uh much more you can say the faith type you know uh, when the lord said to moses that uh, eat from that plant and he ate from that plant and he was cured mm. so uh, what was the, uh, what, the was the time, plant? what was the plant was it black seed i don't i don't know okay uh, i uh, i'm telling you the story <laughs> so why your prophet and did not the, to choose that thing? <laughs> why your prophet did not choose that plant you don't know the plant okay uh, just listen just listen uh, you will know uh, and the uh, next time when the moses and moses was uh, uh, moses was uh, moses was having trouble was mm. having the disease oh. he went to that plant and ate from that plant and he was not cured okay, and on. then he asked god hold Allah, on my friend what, yeah. what was the disease uh, he, moses uh, was he asked, what was the disease moses was suffering from do you know we don't know the disease. Okay. It was just is a disease. disease. Is that and a, he was, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, that, I know, I know. I actually know. Yeah. It was he was feeling dizzy. Uh, he was feeling dizzy. Ah. I know it. So, uh, so not, is, the is, next is, thing is not the disease in his uh, testicles, as the hadith says. Uh, there's no hadith like that. Well, the Jews they accuse him that he have a problem in his testicles, and he have a disease called herenia. I don't know if I'm saying the word correctly. You know, if you read the hadith here, this is Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari. It says that uh, Moses was a shy person to take off his clothes. And then the Jews, the children of Israel, heard him by saying, he covered his body, uh, he covered his body in this way, only because he have some defect in his skin, either leprosy or scoral 
hernia. Hernia. Is that uh, how your uh, prophet uh, he healed? Uh, oh Allah, he healed him. He gave him black seed. No, uh, I know this and this. And oh. then the rock, uh, uh, and then the rock behind which he was taking a bath, the Moses, uh, the rock uh, just uh, go away. Uh, was what do you mean? pushed Where, away what do you mean the rock? by. What, what do you mean the rock go, go away? What do you mean? What do you mean the rock? Rock uh, go away? I know this. I know. I know. I know no, this. No, this. The Moses something was taking from you. The rock go away. The rock go away. Where? Yeah, the, the rock was uh, pushed aside so that Moses was, was shown to his people and then the people believed that Moses had no No, 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 no. You see, you Muslims, you fabricate very good deal. You, the, the rock was pushed aside. Okay. You have this hadith. You have this hadith. Okay. Show it, show it uh, in okay. the camera. And okay, so in the, hadith it says, it, in the hadith it says that the rock pushed away? The rock pushed yeah, away? Yeah, the, rock, uh, the rock pushed the clothes away. The rock was the rock pushed, pushed away. The clothes away. The clothes okay, let us read together. It no, says, no, no. here we go, the hadith the in front of us. The hadith, the hadith, it says, so one day, while Musa was in seclusion, he took off his cloth, clothes and put it on a stone and started taking a bath. When he finished the bath, he moved toward his clothes. So as he, to take them, to take them, but the stone took his clothes and fled, fled. <coughs> You said moved away. This is a different story here. The story says that the stone, she stole the, the, the Prophet Moses' clothing, which is very shameful. That's why in the Middle East, never put your clothes in the stones. They are thieves. Now, even the stones in our, in our lands are thieves, not only people. So look at this. The stone it is not thief. It is not theft. Not theft? The clothes first. Uh, so if I take your clothes and run away with it, this is not a theft. No, uh, Moses, Moses captured the uh, rock. Yeah. And get the clo get his clothes. Yeah, but he got it from the thief, who, who, which is a rock stealing the clothes in the Middle East. The rocks are very thieves. They were very well known. This is, by the way, proven by NASA. So listen. So now the story now. So they, <coughs> they accuse Musa that they have a problem with his testicles. And Allah wanted to heal the testicles of Musa. And he want to show them that the testicles of Musa are very good. So Musa wants to take a shower. And then he put his clothing on the rock. And this is something normal to do. You don't want to put them in the sand, you know, because there is like a crab and all that. You know, I mean, you know, you, you can name it, especially in the old days. There's a global warming, a lot of uh, plastic and, you know, in time of Musa's. So he put them in the, in the rock and then the rock fled with the clothes and the wallet and the, the iPhone 14 of Musa's. What happened next? How in the world the rock is running? Who told the rock to run? No, uh, the rope was, uh, the rope was, uh, see, actually, the thing is, uh, the God loved, them, loved Moses, uh, so he couldn't bear that the uh, followers of Moses uh, uh, accused, him of, uh, accused him of something that was not in him. So he assured them that it was not in him, and after that, they, the people what of do you mean, Moses, what do you mean? Hold on, my friend, the you're, followers. You're speaking so fast. What do you mean he showed them? Did he show them his testicles? Because they accuse him that he have a problem on his testicles. Did he like... Yeah. Just, yeah, he, he, he showed, he showed them, them the body. He showed them his yeah, testicles, not his body, body, not his body, the testicles. Yeah. Ah, so, so that, so so that, Allah, uh, so so that Moses okay. cannot be accused of any disease. Uh, so if somebody accuse me of my a disease now, like the Muslims, they can say, Christian Prince, he have the same disease. So what I should do, I should open the camera and unzip and show everybody that they are lying. This is what your God is doing? Yeah, you can show the uh, show doctor your body. So no, no, no. Why this is not doctor. It says here that the rock keep running until he arrives. So there might be the doctors in his followers. What doctors? Those are the city. He went downtown. Everybody in the road. He is running in the road, my friend. The rock is running in the road because the road. By the way, rocks in Middle East they are they don't run in the desert. They run in the rocks. And you know, by the way, you notice here <coughs> that Musa he run after the rock. He did not. He wasn't wasn't surprised. Did you notice that? Like why Musa was not uh, like, yeah. he was he was not shocked. I mean, why it was normal for Musa? Like the rock took his clothes. Shouldn't he say like, what the heck? Rock is moving. He did not say that. No, he started he, talking uh, to the rock because yeah, because what? Because I mean, because Musa is the person uh, to which the river of Nile was uh, separated. So uh, he, 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 he was, was not shocked because, because he knew because Musa that God bad. can do anything. So Moses was sure Moses, that Moses God, was the person. So are you saying that in Islam Moses was sure that Allah is the one who is stealing his cloth? 
No, uh, he knew that angels, uh, angels are there and angels can do such activities. So, so are you saying that Moses, himself. he was sure that the one is taking his clothes, it was the angels? It was, it was not the angels. Uh, the angels pushed the rock aside ah, so that people can see that. The pushed the rock. So why your prophet, he says the, the rock fleed? Why he didn't say the angels fleed with the rock? Well, you Muslims always add some, add few, add appear to be, and now we add the word angels, they are moving the rock. Here it says that the rock fled. The rock fled with the, with the clothing. Where's the angels? There's angels in the story. Okay, I have a question for you. Uh, does the earth and the heavens are in the obedience of God? Tell me. Which God? The real God. Let's say the real, that, the real God. Give me Are they in opinion? Who is that? It is Allah, but How according you know? to you, it is okay. not so. If Allah is God and so, He is the real God, my friend, if Allah is God and He is the real God, so then how Allah, He say to someone, His name is Allah, may Allah forgive the sin of Muhammad. How many Allah you Muslims have? So, what? What? Uh, I don't understand you. You are saying that the real God is Allah. So who is talking here? Chapter, mm -hmm. a victory chapter, chapter 48, verse number two, it says that Allah may forgive thee the fault. Who is talking in the verse? May Allah forgive the, uh, it is the, it is the message of Allah. The Quran okay, is the so, message of Allah. So, so it is the message of you know Allah. Who is, who is talking? Who is talking? Who is the one who is talking? Uh, it is uh, the angel Gabriel uh, was taking the message so the Quran, towards Prophet okay, Muhammad no, on, by Who inspiration. One, okay, hold on, my friend. Listen to me carefully. I want you to focus with me. Or, by the way, take some black seeds so they can help you. Uh, I'm asking, who is the one who said those words? That Allah may forgive your sin. Who is the one who said that? It is the message of Allah, so Allah, uh, Allah, in order to make the Prophet understand, I want an answer. Who is the one who said this sentence that Allah may forgive your sin of the past and the future? Who said that? Prophet Muhammad said that uh, because Allah sent the message of this. So Muhammad said that. So this is the message sent no, by Muhammad. Uh, Muhammad? Actually, actually. It is actually the message sent by the Allah, uh, given by the angel Gabriel okay. to so the Prophet one is Muhammad. Talking, so the Prophet one is, Muhammad. Okay, so now we now we get the conclusion. The Muslims they cannot answer any question; they have to go in circle. So <laughs> the one who is talking here is Allah, correct? Yeah. Okay. So how Allah He say me Allah, if Allah is the true God, Allah asking other Allah to forgive you and forgive your sin. Who is the other Allah? Me Allah. Allah saying to Allah, Allah saying to other Allah, may Allah forgive your sin. What is that? Uh, you know, Allah teaches uh, his servants uh, how to do dua. So this is one type of dua. That ah, so may Allah, Allah forgive your sins, your past so and future Allah, sins. So Allah praying to Allah? Allah, Allah is... Uh, Allah is Dua uh, teaching is a, dua is a, dua how to is do dua. Dua is a prayer, correct? When you say dua, you say there's many types of yeah. dua, correct? So dua yeah. is a prayer, right? Yeah, okay. yeah it is prayer. So Allah is making dua, guys. So Allah making dua to who? Allah is teaching Prophet Muhammad. What do you mean he how teaching? to do dua? This guy is, is, he is saying to him, may Allah forgive your sin. It's not Muhammad saying, may Allah forgive my sin. Allah is making a request saying that may Allah forgive your sins. So Allah make a request from other Allah. See, when the teachers, uh, when the teachers uh, uh, gives you the lesson about any topic, let it be the topic of science. He tells you that this happens and you have to do this to get to this formula. Uh, see, uh, let, let us consider it is the lecture of chemistry. Hmm. The teacher is telling the students uh, that you have C and uh, oxygen, uh, carbon and oxygen in mm. CO2, carbon dioxide. Mm. So you have to mix these quantities of both of them to mm. make carbon dioxide. Uh. The teacher is guiding the teacher is guiding the student. Mm. Uh, just like that, Allah is guiding Prophet Muhammad how to get his sins uh, mm. forgiven by Allah. Uh. So you should. 
Uh, make your brain some, some more abroad. Brain, abroad. yeah, you are using your brain abroad, now. Abroad. So where you get all yeah. this from that Allah is teaching Muhammad how to pray? Where it says pray like this? I mean, what's wrong with Muslim? Why they have yeah. to add tens of sentences to explain something very simple? It says that may Allah forgive your sin. So there is somebody is talking. His name is Allah. Allah is saying to Muhammad, ask Allah to forgive, uh, ask me to forgive you. No, he's saying that may all uh, may that Allah may forgive your sin. This is your translation. So Muhammad is not the one is asking. Allah is the one is saying, speaking to somebody else. His name is Allah, saying that Allah may forgive your sin. And now you are trying to cover up by saying, with well, sometimes they tell you know they're trying to teach you how to pray. But where it says that it says we give you victory, Muhammad, that Allah may forgive your sin. Does it say there that may Allah teach you how to pray? I mean, Muhammad is already a prophet. This is at the end of his life. Now Allah, he, he, now he, he, he they decide to teach him how to pray. So what is Al-Fatiha then? And what is the, all the chapters in the Quran? So, and the Muslim, they pray five times a day. He was doing what then? So now Allah, he decided by this to teach him how to pray. Where is the word teaching? So Allah speaking, saying, supposedly, the one is talking. We don't know who's he, saying that Allah may forgive your sin. And obviously, I agree with you. When you said in the beginning, the one who said that is Muhammad. Muhammad, the fabricator of the Quran, he forgot that he should make the Quran as if it's coming from his God. So he said that Allah may forgive your sin. This is cannot be a word coming from God because God don't speak to himself saying such a stupid silly thing. May. And what do you mean by the way? What the, what the Quran is saying may? Is that maybe? Uh, what? Uh, what the word? What the word may stand what for? Why Allah is saying may forgive your sin? Is Allah not sure? I mean, Allah who is speaking, no, speaking no, to no, other no, Allah. No, no. Uh, so uh, uh, you know first of all everything you said I listen to that now you have to listen to me mm. okay okay I'm listening now so uh, so there's a name of Allah a Rashid uh, which means the righteous teacher so Allah uh, Allah uh, guides the Muslims uh -huh. and orders them orders them the orders uh, which are beneficial for them and he teaches them Mm. Through Quran, okay. through the knowledge, and mm. through the angels, and through everything mm. uh, 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 that can teach us. So it is Allah that is teaching us that how to uh, how to do dua, and it is Allah that my is friend, uh, saying. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, uh, stop, stop. Where you get this conclusion that Allah is teaching us how to do prayer? This is Allah talking. Don't make things up. Look, if you read even the verses after, okay. it says. And may Allah help you, and that Allah may help you. Who is asking this? If you are saying this is Muhammad talking, that means the Quran is not the word of Allah. It's the word of Muhammad, obvious. It's the word of obvious. So that Allah may help you. Uh, so that uh, it is. So what is the lesson in this? That you must ask help from Allah, so that Allah may. Our friend, help you. the one is talking is, is Allah. Allah. Allah is asking Muhammad to ask help from Allah. When Allah is the one, He's saying to him, "May Allah help you." What's wrong with you? Allah already said to him, "May Allah help you." He's not asking Muhammad to say to him, "May Allah help me." You see, do you see the word "you"? Help you. May Allah help you. So Allah, He decide to ask other Allah to help Muhammad. How? Maybe by the black seed. By the way, do you think if we go with uh, the black seed, like you we are black seed, we can up from yourself? Huh? You are making things up from yourself. Send okay. me the verse. Can we read send it? Can we read it? Can send me the verse? So are you are reading the verse all this time? You do not know the verse? Chapter forty-eight, verse number two, verse number three. Uh, uh, say it again. Uh, chapter number. Oh boy. Chapter forty-eight, verse number two and three. And you can read before it and after it. Okay. I will check it. Okay. By the way, you should use black seed for your door. It's making noise. Obviously, it's having infection, rusting. Uh oh. Oh boy. Where do you go? I hope he did not listen to my advice. 
he went to do black sea to the door now I was joking man where where you go unbelievable you know by the way just I'll tell you this is a true story by the way my car is an old car as you know and you know I don't want to fix it or you know pay money for it and you know I saw so what I do I put some black seed in the gas and my friend my car I think it's a Ferrari after the black seed before the black seed it's a horrible like old car like you know after I put the black seed in the gas the car run like crazy because it's healed brother it's healed he hang up I mean, look, they have to add tons of words to the statement is made by their prophet or their God, supposedly, to fix it. This is how stupid this religion is. When Muhammad, he say all, it means some. When Allah, he say me, he, 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 he me for sure. <laughs> when he say Allah may forgive your sin, Allah is teaching us how to pray. Like, what the heck? <laughs> and that Allah may help you. <laughs> and then Allah keeps saying, them, He it is who? Like, what the heck? I'm getting dizzy now. He it is who? How fast to switch the curve? He it is who? Like, he who? Allah? Okay, how Allah he say, He it is who? I mean, this person, Allah, he have he have a three some personality. Sometimes he is he, sometimes he is who, sometimes it is me, Allah. I mean, who who are you? And what kind of God he say me, Allah forgive your sin? Jesus, he spoke to the person who is you know in the ground. He says, go on, your sin is forgiven. The Jews in their mind they start saying, who is this person? He think himself to forgive sin? Only God forgives sin. Jesus, he said to them, which one is easier to say to him, your sin is forgiven or carry your bed and walk? In the case of Jesus, Jesus forgives sin. There's no me. Go and your sin is forgiven. In the case of Muhammad, his God saying to him, me, Allah, forgive your sin. So Allah is asking a higher Allah. It's a corporation, isn't it? The guy is gone. <clears throat> All right, I, th I, you know, today I'm not really planning to stay longer. <laughs> if there is any shake here, any shake with a beard, we want something heavy duty. If there is someone who's a heavy duty beard person, he would like to speak to me. So as you see, Muhammad obviously is a mentally ill person. He says stupid things. And those things, not only they don't make sense, it's an embarrassment. Because remember, Muhammad, he don't claim that those things is his own teaching. He claimed that Allah taught him. Allah taught him that there is a healing in a black common. By the way, the translation is not even correct. It says, Not there is a healing. It's, it is the healing for every disease. It is the healing. Different hadith. And this is Sahih too. Use this black seed. For indeed it contains a cure for every disease except death. What the heck? In Black Sea, there is healing for every. This is the Muslim translation. I mean, look at this. And look at this one, by the way. This one is even more horrible. There is no disease for which Negla Seed does not provide remedy. I mean, uh, hey, Mimi Hijab, how do you want to fix this one? Brother Thithar, the hadith does not say, though. And those Christians and the Christian apologists, they say that this is what they say. This is not what they say. It says, otherwise, why we have cancer? Otherwise, why we have the say? It says it clearly. There's no disease for which the neglacy does not provide a remedy. You 
You know, I have a, I have one black seed next to my bed. Anytime I feel like I want to die, before I die, because after you die, that's it. It doesn't work. They put it in your mouth, they put it in your nose, it doesn't work. I'm telling you, true story. Before you die, brother, let's say you are sick with your heart. Take black seed. <laughs> you are like a horse. <laughs> like, you know, okay, you became like 17 years old boy again. Like now, I'm, I will be 17 years next year. So, there's no disease. Does it say there's no disease? So why they add the word some? Because their prophet is a stupid some. Dummy some. I mean, the what some? The whole some. So we have to add some there and some here. The sun, this, uh, the, when he found the sun appears uh, set in murky water, they say, oh, this is in the perspective of uh, Zulkar Naik. Like, where it says that? Where it says the word appear? Why you are you adding words? That? Because we have to fix it. Otherwise, Quran is a joke. Yeah, because in the Middle East, you know, by the way, in case I did not tell you, we, we, we go backward. So, like, you will be born like 80. After 60 years, he will be 20. You know, because why? Because we take the black seed. <laughs> Not like the stupid nations around the world who don't do what we do. I mean, we are the best, man. The black seed, my friend. The black seed can fix it. The black seed can make you... I don't want to say the word beautiful. Now, the women, they will start purchasing black seed by tons. And the price of a black seed will go crazy. It will become more expensive than gold. Don't say to them that black seed will make you beautiful. Thank God Muhammad did not say that. Thank God. Otherwise, I mean, imagine if Muhammad, he says, sugar will make you beautiful. Sugar price will go crazy because women, they will buy sugar. They want to be sugary. Hello. <laughs> And the ants will be all over them. Like you will be sitting and your wife is like the, the ants is all over her because she is sugary. Yeah, true story. So Muhammad, he say, for all diseases, no disease. Muslim, they say some. Muhammad said all. Uh, he meant some. But he said that there's no disease for which the negligence does not provide remedy. No, the prophet, he means some, some disease. Okay, can you name one? <laughs> Supposedly now we fixed it. <laughs> and now the Muslim, they will go and say, okay, let us uh, search for black seed benefit. Will all seeds have a benefit? All, all seeds have a benefit. We eat food, which is simply plants or whatever, because it is a benefit for us. We have a vitamin, a protein, whatever come with the food. So it is not a secret that all those food which is can be eaten is useful. Provide something. That's why birds they eat them too, not only us. But isn't it obvious that Muhammad is a fool and he deserved the name Abdul? Do we have any Muhammadan? The, the, the funny, this guy, his wife was fixing him. She's telling him, You should not listen to your wife. Your prophet, he says, women are half a brain. Did she give you half answer? Hmm. <sighs> all right, all right. Uh, CP, tell us about Zakaria Butros. Okay, let us uh, let us talk about Zakaria Butros. I will close my Skype so they don't bother us. Yeah, the Muslim they have a trend in YouTube, uh, in uh, in uh, Twitter and, and Facebook uh, about Zakaria Butros. Zakaria Butros is a Christian a Coptic priest uh, who explores Islam the same as I do. And you know, in Egypt. Uh, this person is bothering them a lot because he got them busted. So if you search in the news for his name, you will find that these days everybody is talking about him. Uh, let us see the news in the last 20 or last week. The news, tools, let's search for tools. All result, you know, all time, past week. 
Uh, maybe I'm typing the name wrong. Uh, maybe even type it in English and Arabic. Hold on. <clears throat> anyway, uh, this person is a wonderful person. And they are trying to put the pressure on the Coptic Church in Egypt to, you know, to wash their hands from him. Uh, but it's it it work in the backward. Let us say it's a backward uh, option because all the Christian they support this man. He is a wonderful man, and he exposes Islam very well. You know, using his way for sure. His way is different from mine. But the Muslim they think by making a trend to attack him all over the internet they can make a difference the fact it make a difference every christian now who don't who speak arabic he will go and he will watch the videos of zachary uh, uh, so i say that this is a great uh, advertising for him and not a single muslim now in the world he will not go and see who is this guy even the one who never heard of him before you know we will use google translation So when they make this trend about Zachariah Butros, simply they did help him very much to get his idea through the globe for those who speak Arabic specifically. Actually, you have some videos in English, I think you can watch it too. You can search it. So they try to smear him that he is not presenting the church, that he is not a good Christian, that the church have nothing to do with him, blah, 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 blah. But we know that every single person in the church in Egypt, he appreciated this man very much. And actually, he is the best between all the priests of this church because he's a brave man who exposed the garbage of Muhammad. So for us, let me see if I can find his uh, his picture too, so people will see, or let us say, I will go to YouTube, hold on, and maybe we can find a little video of him in English. This is here an Islamic website. Uh, this is actually uh, Sky News, sorry, which is owned by uh, Emirat, I believe. Uh, yeah, support this man and always be proud to have a good man like this man. Uh, let me just see if we can video of him. We play it in his honor. Yeah, this is him, but I don't know if the video is in English or in Arabic. Let's see this one. Yeah, you can find actually many of his videos here. But I think those are all in Arabic, not in English. Anyway, so he's a very smart person and he have degrees, I think, in the Arabic language too, which make it more horrible to Muhammad than to, to answer him. Uh, uh, he exposed Islam very well and uh, he's a very good man. They will do the same to anyone who exposes Islam. So any, the duty of us as a Christians, anyone who do a great job, we should stand beside him and support him. The Muslim, when they try to fight him, actually, Whenever you see the Muslims going against someone, he is a Christian, that means he is doing a good job. If they say to him, God bless you, that means he is a corrupt man. As simple as that. They will never say, God bless you to someone, he is a good person. Let me see if I can find... Uh, yeah, maybe this one is in English. I don't know. This is an old video, maybe. Oh, this is uh, Mars 26. Um, uh, yeah, for everybody, I'm, I'm sorry I've been forgetting to do the English here. 
But we have been talking about if she Wow. Abuna, yeah, anyway, so this is a, this is the a sample of his video. He go on TV, etc. So when the Muslim they say or they go and they gang against somebody, that means he is doing a great job. Support him always. And me myself, I say I have a lot of respect for this man. You know, he's an old man, but he is a truthful. He uh, he took a lot of pressure on him. Uh, even the Christians church you know the, the christian churches uh, they became more more into politics so because they don't want to be in in trouble with with the muslims the terrorists in egypt they say oh he have nothing to do with us but all of us we knew that he is not only he have to do with them he is the best of them So they try to put him down. They try to make him not a you know not a legitimate person. Don't listen to him. But nobody can refute him. As simple as that. Okay, he have interview with David. No problem. Anyway, so he's a he's a very humble man. Anyway, and you know, look, you know, actually, people forget about him. But now because the Muslim they made a trend. Suddenly he became the top of news for everybody. So whoever you are, you listen to this person, support him, salute him, give him a hug. He's a wonderful man. This is my message. And always, always take into consideration when those Mohammedan, they attack a Christian person, especially when the attack is big, that means he did something really good. When the Muslim, they say, you see, you will never see one Muslims attacking James White. Why? Because he's a potato. He's a false man. There's many priests in all churches, Orthodox, Protestant, and Catholic. They are praising Muhammad, saying he's a wonderful man. Muslims have no problem with them. Why? Because they are liars. The second you see the truth, you are the enemy. And actually, this is what I say to you. How much they hate you is how much you are truthful. Doesn't matter who you are. They want all our churches to be a church of hypocrisy. Practicing taqiyya, like the Muslims. Taqiyya mean I can lie to you, you can lie to me. Let us let us lie to each other. So you see a priest says, Oh, we have no problem with Islam. Islam is a wonderful religion. We respect Islam. And the, I saw an actor, she is supposedly a, a, a Coptic uh, actor, but the fact she is a whore. Everybody knows. I mean, go watch her movies. I am a Coptic and I respect Islam. No, you don't. And you are not a Coptic and you are the Christians. So Suddenly, every single whore in the world want to stand against this guy because he is truthful. But if he's a child molester, shake. The Muslim, they will not go against him. Like this guy. This guy, as an example, you send your child to the, to the mosque to, to learn Quran. What you do? He rape them. And this is the case all over the mosque in Egypt. A girl, she is nine or ten years old, and she is one of many of his victims. But this is the one exposing him because you know they say that she was bleeding badly. So this good Muslim, Sheikh, he took her inside and he raped her. And why he did that to her? Because she is an orphan; she have no family to complain to. So he said, "Oh, wonderful! You know, this is just yesterday, but this is the case every day." The mosque is the best place for sexual harassment for children or sexual assault. Because in the in Islamic religion, the, the sheikh have to teach your son how to wash his private part, how to wash his body supposedly to prepare himself to uh, to the ablution, to the to the prayer. So the sheikh he have an access to your pro, to your to your son or your daughter.
So we are proud of this guy. They are attacking him because he is teaching good, not because he's a child molester like Muhammad. Kabich, so this is my opinion, and this is what I say. Um, all right, I think we are done for today. I hope you guys enjoy your black seed knowledge. And now, because of the black seed, we have no worry. All of you will be healthy. You can do whatever you want. You can fly an airplane full of people have diseases and have bacteria and viruses, all what you need. Take a black seed before you go in the airplane or even after. Actually, I'm going to send to European Union, the Union of the Idiots, and I call it the Union of the Idiots because uh, <clears throat> it's the, uh, this union is so good to the point they cannot even, even, even the one who is out of the union already, like England. England right now, they have a highest alarm, severe alarm of terrorism, brother. They just noticed that England, England became the nest of terrorists. They just noticed yesterday. They just... It happened, it happened. The highest alarm. They cannot make a speech in the street. Nobody can walk safe. Nobody is safe because of the Islamic terrorism. And for sure, those who they are in YouTube, they have nothing to do with it, you know. But by the way, they will never do terrorism themselves. They will send the fool to do it. So they have the highest, the highest, the highest brother. If you want to stop terrorism, give them black seed. The Muslim will call down. You will heal the illness of Muhammad. Because Muhammad says it is the healing for every disease, and Islam is nothing but a disease. So take, give them, force them to eat a black seed, and the terrorist will not be a terrorist no more. You can't even walk in the street in England no more because of terrorism. You don't know. You don't know who's going to take a, a knife and attack you. You don't know who's going to explode a car in, 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 the, in the road for you. This is England. Not long time ago, those European they used to make speeches in the street. The king of Norway he walked between people. Nobody, he not, no, nobody guard. Nobody guard. Prime minister go in the train. He's safe. But since the peaceful Islam came, it's very peaceful. You cannot resist the peace of Muhammad. Right? Yeah. <sighs> Anyway, so I want to say thank you guys for being here, and I hope today we had some good knowledge to share with you. Uh, I will be back, and I will do live again when we reach the 20,000 view for this video. Well, the reason I'm doing that, because I notice I do a lot of work, and people, they just watch the last video. The video before it, nobody care for it. So if I make a new video tomorrow, people will not watch this video. So... I want to be sure at least we have a 20,000 view and we will go live again. So the 20,000 view is to, to, uh, to today, I will go live again. Tomorrow, I will go live again. Two days from now, I will go live again. So share the video with your friends. Tell everybody about the truth. Download the video, post it in your YouTube and let everybody see the truth and the truth will set you free. As you see, Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. He claimed to be a doctor, he claimed to be an astronomer, he claimed to be everything. Muhammad, he know everything. But in reality, Muhammad is the idiot of the village. And the Muslims, in order to fix his stupidity, they have to add words and they have to defend it by fabrication. And we laugh at it. Search for bombshell Ahmed Al-Kabinji. Ahmed Al-Kabinji. I think the name in English is coming weird. I know, I know what you are talking about. You know those bombshell is kind of a funny bombshell. In the news they say bombshell to make people watch it, right? I know the person. I made a video about him. Yeah, I know the person you are talking about. Yeah, but I, I don't agree with him too. You know, it doesn't mean if he is speaking something you know horrible about Islam and he's a sheikh. But doesn't mean that he is right in many things because at the end of the day this guy he say that quran is corrupted and islam is not like this you know what i mean so still he's saying islam is good but not the islam we have today so who care not bomb not bomb bombshell 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 yeah bombshell 
Bomb, bombshell. Ah, you mean this video with Z with uh, Zachariah Butros? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so uh, share the share the link with your friends, and let us have a view. And as you know, I don't keep my videos for long. I take them down. But always you can search. You can have your own archive by subscribing to others and downloading the videos even from me here now or from them. So you can have the topic which always you need to refute somebody about something. Muhammad obviously is a fraud. He never says something truthful. He is not even good to be smart to the dummies. Even the dummies did not believe in him. In order for Muhammad to make people believe in him, he forced them to believe in him. This is why we see in the Quran, it says that those who don't believe in Muhammad, they are going to face people of mighty power. They will kill them. And he was speaking to the Arab. So the message to the Arab is convert or die. And when those Arab, they converted to Islam and they said to Muhammad, we believe. Muhammad, he said to them, you believe not. If you go to chapter 48, verse number 16, Muhammad, he warned those Arab, if you don't believe in me, I will slaughter you all. All. This is Quran 48, 16. Then when those Arab, they converted to Islam, Quran 49, 14. Those people, they say, we believe. Allah said to them, you do not believe. But you should say rather, we are Muslims, not submitted. This is a false translation. We are surrender. We surrender to Islam. So how they became Muslims? If they don't believe, will they surrender? That's why Islam is not a religion of belief. Islam is a religion of surrender. Those who say to you Islam means submission is a liars or they are ignorant. Those who don't speak Arabic, they are ignorant. They don't know. But in reality, the word is we surrender. Here we go. Even the Muslim translation. So don't say we believe. So what we say? Say we surrender. They surrender war. For faith has not yet entered your heart. So how they became Muslims? By war. But if you obey Allah and his messenger, it's okay. So what Islam want? Islam don't care if you believe or not. They want a bunch of people who turn themselves into puppies. So they obey Muhammad and they will become his slaves. Islam don't care for believing. You believe or not, who care? Join Islam and surrender or we will kill you. And the proof in the front of your eyes. Chapter 49, 14. Don't say we believe. But those are Muslims. How Muhammad even accept people to say to him, we are Muslims, when he knew that they are not believers because Muhammad is a fraud. You cannot say that to Jesus. Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Muhammad saying, everyone say to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my God, even if you don't believe in him. The opposite. <laughs> here you see the fraud here you see the stupidity so number one you need to correct yourself regarding this when somebody says to you Islam means submission like I saw David Wood saying that but I understand David Wood he is copying what he heard in English Islam does not mean submission Islam means to surrender Aslim Taslam clear Arabic no submission it is surrender and war. So they surrender to Muhammad. They put their weapon down. They cannot defend themselves. You are defendless in front of Islam. That will make you a Muslim. You say the Shahada, yeah, that will make you a Muslim. But doesn't mean you need to be a believer. No. In Islam, all what they want from you, say Shahada, obey Muhammad, became a puppy. And that is all the requirement for Islam is nothing but a gang. Join the gang. Right? 
So, my friend, I say to you, thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And Ante, we'll see you soon again. And don't forget to share the link and get us more view. 20,000 is needed so we can go live again. And this is my uh, uh, good time with you today. I hope I was able to serve the Muslims because we love them. We don't hate them. We believe Islam is an evil cult. But we believe there's many and many and many good Muslims there who don't believe in Muhammad. They don't just want to live like everybody and those they can make a difference so we invite all the muslims who they are muslims by name they don't want to surrender to the garbage of muhammad they don't believe that beating wife is going to solve a problem of a family that will not solve a problem my friend terrorism is start from home a man beating his wife is a terrorism islam is religion of terrorism and terrorism is start from the house go to the street and then go to the community that is islam so don't join the religion of terrorism. Believe in the Lord of mercy and the Lord of peace. That is the Messiah. The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, don't you know that Jesus says, I did not come to bring peace? Continue the verse, you idiot. It says that peace will not be for us, the Christians, because we follow him, which means you are the one who is going to attack us, not the opposite. We will be killed, Jesus said, Time will come and people will be killing you thinking they are doing favor to God. Which God is that? That is the truth. So thank you very much. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it every time. Thank you.